Hello everyone. Thank you for coming up today. To my old subscribers, thank you. And to my new subscribers, thank you for subscribing. And to those viewing for the first time, please do ensure you subscribe. Once you subscribe, please comment on the comment section and say I subscribe. I will personally respond to you. All right, let's go into the topic for today. Nigeria denies U.S. claim on religious freedom violation. On Monday, the United States has now placed Nigeria for the first time on a religious freedom back blacklist. Christian groups have voiced out right now that there is an ongoing insecurity for Christians in Nigeria. However, the Secretary of State, Mike Pompey, designated Nigeria as a country of particular concern for religious freedom. The rare inclusion of fellow democracy in the U.S. efforts to shame nations into action. However, Pompey, who is an evangelical Christian, wrote this on Twitter, which he said that, this annual designation shows that when religious freedom is attacked, we will act. Which means he's referring to Nigeria. When religious freedom is being attacked, they in the U.S. will even act. So right now, Nigeria has been placed on a blacklist owing to the fact that Christians are not free anymore in Nigeria because Christians have voiced out they've now voiced out saying that there is a growing increase in insecurity for Nigerians Nigeria maintains a delicate balance between Muslims and Christians but church groups have expressed their raising concerns to the United States so Nigerians, the church groups in Nigeria have actually raised this concern. They are now complaining to the U.S. So right now, Nigerians are crying out for help because it's getting too much. You can imagine how they go to some places, you're sleeping at night, and some people will come and attack you. Kill innocent women, mothers, fathers, children, grandfathers, grandmothers, even pregnant women, even babies, without pity. Should you suffer in Nigeria because you are a Christian? What about other religion? Every religion matters to the person that has taken up that religion. So everybody's religion should have his or her own place. And nobody should interfere with other people because or try to attack them because of their religion. Whatever religion, whatever religion anybody has decided to take up, it's a person's decision. And nobody should fight anybody for being whom they are in the aspect of worship. Christians are really suffering so bad in Nigeria as a result of this. The Nigerian government, however, because U.S. has now taken it upon themselves, since they have put Nigeria as a blacklist, U.S. has taken upon themselves that they are now going to act based on what Christians are crying out to them for. But the Nigerian government on Tuesday denied these allegations of engaging in systematic religious freedom violations by the United States. Nigeria does not engage in religious freedom violations. That is what they are now responding. That's what Nigerian leaders are responding to the U.S. Neither does it have a policy of religious persecution and you can imagine look at what the minister of information Lai Mohammed said my Lai Mohammed said um, that well he is arguing this out that Nigeria is jealously uh, Nigeria actually jealously protects uh, religious freedom in the country's constitution and takes seriously any information in this regard my people, 
what can we say with regards to this? So Lai Mohammed is now trying to contradict what is actually happening in real life in Nigeria. Look at how they've gone to so many places and killed people, killed innocent people. Nobody is coming out to say anything because it has to do with Christians. Also, the Nigerian, someone that, that, that is also standing in for Nigerians to speak on behalf of Nigeria, who didn't disclose their identity in the U.S., now said that the blacklisting of Nigeria was a case of an honest disagreement between the two nations on the causes of violence in Nigeria. So you can just imagine... N- some Nigerians are not even trying to help matters. Some are even making the matters worse because they don't want to come out openly and say this is what is actually happening in Nigeria. Lai Mohammed also stated that um, victims of victims of insecurity and terrorism in the country are adherents of Christianity, Islam, and other religions. He said Nigeria jealously protects religious freedom as in the country's constitutions and takes any infringement in the regards seriously. Is this what's really happening? The reverse is the case. A different thing is being said right now by Lai Mohammed, which means what the U.S. has heard from Christians crying out that there is a high rate of insecurity for Christians in Nigeria. Lai Mohammed is trying to dispute it and say, he's not trying to put it that air, that even if there's insecurity, they're complaining about insecurity and terrorism in Nigeria, it has to be both Muslim, Christian, and all other religion. Meanwhile, we all know the truth. Christians are the ones that are really being attacked in Nigeria. Friends, what do we think about this? How do we see this whole thing? It's so bad that Christians are being killed for no reason. Christians are suffering in pains. That's why they're not crying out because they need help. Christians need help in Nigeria. So as to free them from this unwanted death, unwanted attacks all the time. Please, my people, I'm going to end up here, but please, like I would always say, your comments are very important. Please comment down below and say what you feel about this. I'll be glad to see your comments and I will reply personally onto that comment you've made. Once again, please do not forget to subscribe and please click on the notification bell. So once we upload any of our videos, you'll get notified. Thank you for coming up today. Have a good day and God bless you all.